Good morning, folks. Welcome, observers. Today, we're focused on space weather with the solar storm on its way to Earth now. Long duration M8 solar flare, big coronal mass ejection. Let's dive right into it with looks at the big eruption. Shouldn't be hard to spot here. Central Northern Active Region released in a big way, and it's obvious even here that a CME was released plasma shockwave out into space. The extreme ultraviolet view shows the arcing cascade of plasma in the wake of the eruption, another good signal of a CME, and indeed it was a long duration event amidst the spikes on the right side which are the several solar flares we've taken in the last 24 hours. One is thicker and descends more slowly, like a ramp. Duration always beats magnitude. Of course, duration and magnitude together matter most, but here it was long enough for a CME of a fantastic size to erupt from the sun, and this is the first look I posted on X last night. Full halo CME signature on the C core from GOES. Folks, goldobservers.com is sponsoring our upcoming documentary. This fall, not only do we break down the risks of a cataclysmic solar storm, but the magnetic pole shift our planet is currently enduring, and which brings the cyclical disaster to our planet. Goldobservers.com, our observer family, like you, and like helps like. Silver is one of the most useful metals after the disaster, and on the long way down, well, Jamie Dimon said it best. Gold is money. Everything else is just credit. Gold Co. Goldobservers.com. Now, after the Sea Corps updates, it was only a matter of time until SOHO confirmed, and it did. Clear full halo CME visible there, Earth impact basically guaranteed. We also see the high energy protons on the rise this morning. I'll be watching those to see if they reach storm levels, but of course, the bigger concern is certainly what's aimed our way and still in transit. Now, the NASA Enlil spiral is updated, and oh golly, that is ugly. Dead center blast, one day travel time. That means it forecasts impact this evening, just over 12 hours from when I'm posting here this morning. Now that begs the question, what should we expect? How bad will it be? That will ultimately depend. Does it actually get here tonight or is it tomorrow? The faster it arrives, the worse it is. Will it carry high density or be more sparse? And most importantly, what magnetic field is embedded within? If it is south pointing, that's worst. In general, I think the G2 to G3 storm levels, remember it goes up to five and five is the worst, are the most likely. If it does arrive that quickly tonight and has southern magnetism, maybe G4. Now that is significant. I would expect minor tech disruptions and certainly an uptick in electrical fires, but that's not really scary at the global level. Actually a good chance for Earth's magnetic field to get a test here and see how it holds up against this CME. We greatly appreciate your support. Remember to also support our documentary sponsor, goldobservers.com. If there are any more updates today, I'll be bringing them live from the ranch and, of course, all day on X, Twitter, as I always do, every day. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now. It's 5.15 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.